so welcome back guys today we are going to talk about the hexadecimal to decimal conversion okay so here we have different parts of this question in which we are asked to convert each hexadecimal number to the decimal number okay so the first one here is 42 in hexadecimal okay so what we have to do our approach will be to first convert it to the binary okay and from binary we will convert it to the decimal equivalent okay so here will be our approach so as we have again this table so why would we use this table because of converting this hexadecimal to the binary one okay so what we have to do we have to write the binary equivalent of 42 so let me write it here this is 42 okay so uh, the binary equivalent of 42 will be as this is the hexadecimal number so writing the equivalent of 2 here what it would be we can see that the equivalent of 2 is this is the hexadecimal number and its equivalent binary equivalent it is, is here so it will be 0 0 1 0 okay so that is the binary equivalent of it similarly the binary equivalent of 4 will be how much we can see that this is 4 and its equivalent is here so 0 1 double 0 okay so writing here 0 1 double 0 so that is the binary equivalent of this 42 okay what we have to do now we have to convert it to the decimal okay so converting it to the decimal what we have to do we have to use the same procedure which we had previously used so here it will be 2 0 2 1 2 2 okay 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 and 2 7 okay so we can see that only 2 raised power 6 multiplied by 1 plus 2 raised to power 1 these two are ones here while others are zeros so 2 raised to power 6 is how much that is 64 okay and this is how much this is 2 okay so the decimal equivalent of it is 66 with the base 10 okay so the decimal equivalent of 50 42 is 66 with the base of 10 Okay. so that is the procedure we can follow for all the other terms as well so let me start part b here so to start part b here what we have to do let me clear it okay and here this one as well okay so now uh, this 64 in hex what we have to do first we have to find the binary equivalent of it so binary equivalent of 4 is this one this is 0 0 1 double 0 so 0 1 double 0 okay and the binary equivalent of 6 is how much that is here this is the hex and 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 1 0 okay so that is the binary equivalent of 64 okay we can write here this is the binary okay and in order to write the decimal equivalent of it what we have to do again we have to write here 2 0 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 2 7 okay converting it to the decimal what we will get here only this 2 raised power 2 this is 1 while this 1 2 raised power 5 is 1 and this 2 to the power 6 is 1 all the other terms are 0 here so now writing them here 4 plus 2 to the power 5 is uh, 32 okay and this 2 to the power 6 is 64 so 64 plus 32 that is 96 96 plus 4 is 100 okay and this 100 is in decimal so that is the decimal equivalent of my number which is now here okay so uh, that is the procedure of finding the equivalent decimal number of any hexadecimal number okay similarly now now removing it and for part c of my question what we have to do that is to be 
16 okay again the binary equivalent of these will be the first one here is b so b is we can see that this is b so that is 1 0 double 1 1 0 double 1 and the binary equivalent of 2 we can see that this is double 0 1 0 okay so that is the binary equivalent of it now converting it to the decimal so that is 2 0 2 1 2 2 2 3 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7. Okay. So, that is what? That is the binary. Okay. So, now here we can see that only 2 raise power 0 plus 2 raise power 1, 2 raise power 3 and 2 raise power 5. These terms are multiplied with this 1 and will give me the values whatever weight these would have ok. So, we can see that these are the values. So, now it would be 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 32 ok. So, now writing them what I will get 32 plus 8 is 40, 40 plus 3 is 43 ok. So, that is what that is the decimal equivalent of my number. So, we can see that the decimal equivalent of 2b is 43d. All the other terms will also remain same and the procedure of finding their equivalent will be just like here we have done here. Okay. Uh, so, this is the solution of part c. Similar will happen with this 4d in which first we have to write the binary equivalent of 4 and then d and then converting it to the decimal will give us the decimal equivalent of it ok. Similarly, here this f f we can see that f f we can see that every f is composed of the 4 bits 4 1 bits in its binary equivalent. So, therefore, this f f will contain 8 ones ok. So, Okay, we have to convert them and we will see that we will get some numbers uh, in the decimal. Okay, So, it will be easier to convert them into the decimal equivalent. Similarly, we will do it for this one as well where b and c are two numbers. So, c is equivalent to what that is double 1 double 0 okay? and b is equivalent to what that is 1 0. 1 1 ok. Then we will convert it to the decimal from this binary uh, number and we will see that the equivalent will be the decimal equivalent of these number ok. So, the last two are basically composed of these three hexadecimal codes ok and it would be somehow different to calculate their results. So, we will do it in our upcoming video till then practice all the stuff which we have covered today and I will see you with some more stuff in our upcoming video. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.